Hey everyone, I'm Almar of AlmarsGuides.com and this video here is going to be a comprehensive guide on the Timber Mall hold reputation in Classic WoW. So, to get started, I'm going to talk about how to raise Timber Mall reputation and then I'm going to go over the rewards and then I'm going to go over some of the unique drops as well as the different locations for you to hunt the fur bulks. So, how to raise the reputation is pretty straightforward. You hunt fur bulks in different places. Here's a uh, a few of the places in winter spring there's a camp of them here a camp of them here and a camp of them here later in the video i'll show you all of the camps in a little bit more detail with each of my characters in winter spring the fur bogs drop these winterfall spirit beads which you come to this npc salfa he's right here in the uh north western yeah northwestern corner of winter spring or the central portion of winter spring and you give him five beads and the quest will give you 50 rep. Wildhead is wrong. It says it gives you like 2,000 rep or something crazy like that. No. It's been massively nerfed like original classic. It gives you 50. Now, in Fellwood, there's a similar situation. You can hunt fur bogs and they drop deadwood headdress feathers. Right here. Much like the Winterfall Spirit Beads, they have a low chance of dropping off the fur bogs. And they also get turned into this guy here. Nafien which is in the northern portion, northern portion of Fellwood, right up here on the map, by Fellpaw Village, which is one of the two locations in Fellwood that you hunt uh, the fur bogs. There's also an NPC down here named Grazel in the southern portion of Fellwood, which you can also give the Deadwood headdress feathers to, right down here. And the fur bogs that you'll hunt are right down here on the map. Now, let's go over some of the rewards from uh, the Timur Mall hold reputation on Wildhead. This is the one for reaching Exalted, which is a trinket which summons a Timur Mall ancestor. It's an eh item from everything that I've read. I'll eventually test it once I get there. These enchants for agility are not currently in the game, but I think they're added during Phase 3. I'm pretty sure it's the same time AQ opens, whenever that is. Phase 3 or 4, I can't remember. But uh, these are the main reasons that people grind this reputation for those two enchants. And also earth to water transmutation you can also get here and various leatherworking and tailoring uh, recipes. That is pretty much all you get in terms of uh, the rewards from the Timber Mall reputation. There's various other items here and there but these are the main ones. The enchants and the recipes. So let me show you a few of the camps. We'll start with the easiest camp for the lowest level players, which is here in Southern Fellwood. These fur bogs are very low level. They're in the lower 50. Some of them will even be gray to you at level uh, 60. I'm fairly certain some of them will be gray. Very, very few. Most of them will be very low level green. And also, due to the fact that they are such low level, they're not going to all drop rune cloth. Many of them will drop mage weave. You'll get five reputation per kill, and these also, of course, have the chance of dropping uh, the dead dress head feathers. There will be er herbs and mines for you to find in this camp. Mithril will uh, spawn here, as well as Plague Bloom, Arthas Tears, Dream Foil, and a few others that I'm probably forgetting. Now, despite the fact that these uh, individual ones, Deadwood Warriors, only give you five rep per kill, when you kill one of these elite, or not elites, uh, named ones, like Overlord Roar, and there's also a named one, uh, Chieftain Blood Paw or something like that in the northern camp, when you defeat them, they'll give you 15 reputation for a single kill instead of 5. So keep that in mind. They're definitely worth going out of your way to kill since they give you uh, the same reputation that 3 mods would give you. Now let me show you the northern Fellwood camp here, which is the most common place, I would say, to hunt Furbogs. There's almost always going to be people here on primetime, like you say. There's just people all over the place. This is where the uh, named one spawns in the Fellwood camp, right here at this little hut. He spawns there with like four other furbogs. And there's also a t bunch of furbogs at this camp, more than any other location in... Uh, more than any other, there's more, sorry, <laughs> there's more fur bogs at this camp in Fellwood than any of the other fur bog camps that you farm for Timber Mall reputation. That's why this camp is the most visited one. 
and most populated. As you can see, they're actually uh, it's actually really really smart if you put together a group and you grind the fur bogs because you'll be able to hunt them so at such a faster rate. Because no matter what, everybody gets five reputation despite how much damage you do or anything like that. So the best thing you can do is really really radically increase the uh your kill speed and then you'll dramatically cre increase how much reputation you get now let me show you a few of the camps in winter spring the easier camps in winter spring anyway and then i'll show you the biggest camp in winter spring and also uh something to remember for uh these fur bogs that i'm showing you now along with the previous f ones in fellwood they're always going to drop rune cloth these are too high to drop mage weave anymore and uh, the same herbs you're going to find at the southern camp in Fellwood, you're going to find at the northern camp. You're also going to have a chance of finding, you know, thorium and stuff like that there. In Winter Spring, you're going to find Ice Cap, Dream Foil, um, Mountain Silver Sage, Golden Sand Sam, I think. And uh, you also have a chance of finding Black Lotus, too, which is a very rare herb and it sells for quite a bit. So this is the one of the two larger camps in Winter Spring. Also, of course, chests have a chance of spawning at all of these camps. As you can see, there's a decent amount of fur bogs there. There's a smaller camp of the fur bogs over here. Which, but it's close enough for you to just run over here unmounted and take them out. And then there is one more camp of fur bogs right across the way. Which I'm going to show you in a second. Now, let me also show you this location too. So we're not wasting too much time, travel time. This is the final furball camp in th all the way over on the right side of Winter Spring. As you can see that I'm showing you on the map now that I'm circling it. This is the biggest camp in Winter Spring. And I'm going to show you that in one second after I reach this camp over here. And here's the final Eastern Furball Camp in Winter Spring. As you can see, there's quite a few little mini camps of the Furbogs, and they're roaming all around in between the camps. And there's also a chest smack dab in the middle of this camp. There's also Furbogs that roam around on the hills up here and on this little hill right here. Some Pathfinders. One over there, too. That's pretty much all for the fur bogs on the uh, western side of Winter Spring. Now all that's left is for me to show you the camp on the eastern side of the zone, which I'm currently under attack at. So this is the largest camp in Winter Spring for the fur bogs, as I, as I mentioned earlier. There's a bottom floor as well as an upper floor in this camp, and geez louise. Well, as I was saying, there's a bottom floor and an upper floor in this camp, and there's also an elite at the top in the cave, along with a few other fur bogs with it that are not elite. So it's up to you if you want to go up there. The elite is used in a quest, uh, a quest from Don of a Snowden, who's in the western portion of Winter Spring by F the Fellwood zone line. There's a whole bunch of quests that take place at these fur bogs throughout the entire zone, which also will raise your Timberwall reputation too sometimes. So, uh,. You want to keep that in mind. Also, the Fellwood, if you're new to the Furbogs, they'll drop totems which get turned in at Timber Mall for a large amount of reputation. Both the Fellwood and the Winter Spring Furbogs drop those totems. It's a one time thing, so uh, you won't be able to continuously repeat the quest, but it's something to keep in mind for uh, raising your reputation in the future. And it's also pretty good EXP while leveling if you manage to grind the rep while leveling. So here's the bottom floor of the Furbogs. There's quite a few that spawn in this camp, probably like 10 on that level. And then there's probably like uh, 5 to 8 that spawn on this level. Few will spawn over there. One or two here. One, one pats are uh, on this road. And then there's few over here.
the cave with the elite fur bog is up in the corner here. Now, the last thing I would like to show you and bring to your attention before I close out this video is unique loot that drops at this location. Specifically, all of the Winterfall fur bogs have a chance of dropping a unique item which the Felwood ones do not. And that is this, Winterfall Firewater. This stacks with quite a few different potions and buffs in the game, and it increases your melee attack power by 35 and makes you slightly bigger. It's... Uh, so if it's not going to be something you use, then you'll be able to sell it on the auction house for a decent amount. A full stack of it will probably sell for a gold or two at this current point. As time goes on, it's going to sell for, you know, a significantly higher and higher amount. And that's pretty much all you'll need to know about, this lo about these locations. I would actually recommend you farm the Winterfall fur bogs because they drop the Winterfall firewater. But if you only care about reputation and nothing else, the northern Fellwood fur bog camp that I showed you up here, Fellpaw Village, nothing is going to give you better reputation uh, per hour than Fellpaw Village. There's just so many fur bogs there and so much uh, to hunt. You're never going to, you probably won't be able to defeat the entire camp before running out of fur bogs. I know I can on my five box, so. And uh, that's saying something. So. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully this answered all your questions about Timber Mall Hold, and I'll see you guys in the next video.